Right then, here's my anchor set up for kayak angling. Um, here's the dive rail, which is the key piece holding most of the line. I use a piece of rope to attach a seven inch pot boy. And then you want a length of chain. I use a, a good couple of meters of pretty solid long link chain. And then I use a one kilo Bruce anchor, which are widely available on eBay, not quite cheaply as well. Um, connecting the chain to the anchor, I just uh, connect the chain using a normal shackle to the back of the anchor. And then to the top, I use a small zip tie as a brake link. So if the anchor gets caught for any reason on the bottom, by pulling upwards from the kayak, I can break this zip tie, allowing the anchor to be brought up upside down and retrieved when it's stuck. It seems to work quite well and the zip tie rarely breaks by accident. You have to try pretty hard to get it to go. Um, your dive reel, you, the length of line on it will vary depending on the depth of water that you're fishing in. Um, there's about 60 feet on that small dive reel, which seems to be more than enough here for the Suffolk coast. Um, I have recently bought a McMahon reel, which are also available on eBay. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger and it's supposed to be a lot friendlier in the water, although I haven't rigged it up and tried it yet. Um, it also holds an awful lot more line for those who've got deeper waters where they are. So that's, ba that's basically the setup. Now I keep a clip on the dive reel, which as you'll see I use to clip it off to the kayak on. And unlike most, I have the buoy tied onto the dive reel rather than sliding on the line. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I set my anchor. First thing I do is get the whole lot from behind me. It's kept in the tank well. Check for knots in the cord for the buoy. Going to check for knots in the anchor chain. Don't want any tangles. Lower the anchor over the side. Let out a small amount of line off of the dive reel. And I'll clip that into my quick release carabiner. Using a carabiner allows me to release the line and drop everything over the side if a boat is coming or if I needed to quickly. The buoy will keep the reel floating so it's easy to return back to where I was anchored. Once the anchor reaches the bottom I'm going to move the cleat to the rear so that the anchor warp now lies from the rear of the kayak keeping me rear, rear end into the tide and I'll cleat the anchor trolley off in the zigzag cleat. Now we're at Clacton here, there's not a lot of tide running, so just a bit of patience while the tide starts to pull the anchor along the bottom. We'll get a faint bite on the anchor with a small amount of warp out, at which point you can start to let line out and let the tide pull the line away. Setting anchor can seem quite frantic in strong tides because you'll find yourself drifting down quite quickly. and you may find that you need to paddle quite far up tide of where you actually want to be when you're sat at anchor before you drop it. You're just letting the tide pull out some warp here. You want about three to four times the depth of the water in warp behind you, especially with a small anchor like the one kilo Bruce. Just letting line out. Just waiting for the anchor to bite. Once the anchor bites, we'll get the clip on the dive reel and clip the dive reel off to the side of the kayak. And then place the buoy behind me. Keeping the buoy on a separate piece of string allows me to keep the buoy out of the water while I'm fishing, which stops it knocking on the kayak. If you had the buoy on the line, it is possible that the buoy could wrap around the cleat at the back, as some people have discovered 
Keeping the buoy on a separate piece of string prevents this from happening. Right, I'll now demonstrate how I raise my anchor up after I've finished fishing. First thing is to untangle everything. I normally throw the buoy in the water and then I start pulling line back from the back of the kayak. Some people pull the anchor up from the front, but personally I've always found it easier just to pull it from the back as it doesn't mean that you need to turn in the tide or the rough water, risking getting sideways at any point and ending up in the drink. As I pull the anchor, as I pull myself back towards the anchor, I let the line go out the front. It stops it getting tangled up. Some people put it in their lap, but I find that you end up in a big ball of string. Once I get back to the anchor, I pull it up until the chain comes up through my carabiner. I normally cleat the line off at this point, leaving the anchor just hanging below my kayak. Now I unhook the dive reel. And now I wind in the line, guiding it cleanly onto the reel. Making sure there's no knots or tangles. If you tried to do this out of your lap, you'd probably find that you were getting big bird's nests. Keeping it out in the tide like this allows you to smoothly and neatly wind it back in, adjusting the tension as you do so. Takes quite a bit of winding with a little reel like this. The big McMahon reel should be a lot easier. This reel is also slightly over full so I have to watch I don't drop the line behind the spool. Once I've got it all wound up neat, I uncleat the line, unhook it from the carabiner and pull the whole lot up into my lap. See the mud on the anchor here, good muddy bottom. It will wash off, don't want that all over the kit. Wind the chain up to the reel to get rid of the last little bit of string. Now stow it away behind me as quick as I can because I'm now drifting away in the tide and get my paddles out ready to head back to the beach. That's a day's fishing over. Hopefully this tutorial has been useful to you. Many people anchor in many different ways but this is the way I've found easiest for me and the absolute safest. No problems doing this whatsoever. Most of it comes down to speed. If you dither around sorting out the line and your reel you'll find yourself drifting in the tide. You can end up quite away from where you originally started. So make sure you're ready, make sure you're prepared, make sure you know what you're doing, stay calm and enjoy. Thank you for watching.